I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to this video on rational functions. We'll discuss end behavior from graph and from equations. So let me first talk about uh, end behavior from graph of the function. So here we have three different graphs. Let's try to understand what is end behavior in each case. When we say end behavior, it really means what happens to the y value as x approaches positive infinity and as x approaches negative infinity. So we are trying to find what happens to y when x approaches positive infinity and when x approaches negative infinity. So if I take the very first graph here, let me call it A. So in this particular case, when x approaches positive infinity, that means a large value. Do you see this portion? Then y is approaching 0. Since it is positive, we also prefer to write it as 0 plus. That means that the function is positive. It is approaching 0. When x is approaching negative infinity, we are looking into the part of the graph which is to the left extreme. In this particular case, we notice that it approaches 0, but this time below the x-axis, the function is negative. So that is the nomenclature which we are going to use. Correct? So in the first case, what we notice here is that it is approaching 0 from above and this is from below. Now, since you are approaching a particular value, we also have another term here. We say that the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0, a value which a function is approaching. Perfect. Now for the next function, I think it is much simpler to write down from the graph. When x approaches positive infinity, that is the right extreme, we see that the y value is approaching 0, but this time from below the graph. It is negative. And for the value on the left extreme, when x approaches negative infinity, we can see that y is approaching 0, and also it is negative, is kind of like this. So here again, what we notice is that the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. The x-axis is the horizontal asymptote. Now in graph C, let's call this as B and this as C, we notice that when x approaches positive infinity, that is right extreme, y value approaches 1, but this time the graph is below 1, so we'll write 1, and that minus to the exponent side, right? So it means from below, y equals to 1. When x approaches negative infinity, in that case, y approaches 1, from, but from above, so it'd be 1 plus. Now, here you can see that the horizontal asymptote is what? it is y equals to 1. Since the function is approaching 1, when x approaches negative or positive infinity. Perfect. Um, these graphs are for functions like, this could be, uh, for example, 1 over x. This could be a function which is minus 1 over x squared. And that could be a function where we have, since this part is kind of reflected, we could write this as minus 1 over x, but it is moved one unit up, so plus 1. So that could be the function for which we have a graph here. Now, in the next exercise, we will see how to write end behavior from equation, right? So now we'll take a few equations and then figure out the end behavior. So that should be interesting. Now let's talk about end behavior from equations. As we know, rational functions could be written as ratio of polynomials. So something will be in the numerator and something will be in denominator. End behavior really depends on degree of polynomials 
in the numerator and denominator. So we have three scenarios. So here are these three scenarios. First, degree of numerator is greater than the degree of no, the first one is first degree of denominator is greater than the degree of numerator. The example could be, for example, y equals to x plus 1. We want degree of denominator to be greater. So let me write down here x squared plus 3, for example. Now, in this case, degree of numerator is 1, that of denominator is 2. Now, in all such cases, what we observe that when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches 0, and when x approaches positive infinity, y approaches 0. And we have horizontal asymptote y equals to 0. Right? Now, second case could be when the degree of denominator is equal to the degree of denominator numerator. Uh, the case could be like uh, 3x cubed, let's say 5, plus 2x squared minus 1, divided by, we want same degree, so let me write 2x to the power of 5 minus 3 plus 2, uh, 3x. Okay. In this case, the degree of numerator and denominator is both 5. Now here, as x approaches negative infinity or as x approaches positive infinity, the y value will approach ratio of leading coefficient, which is 3 and 2. So 3 over 2. So it will approach 3 by 2. So you'll find that it will approach 3 by 2. So in this particular case, horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals to 3 over 2 which we at times write as ratio of leading coefficients. Perfect. Now in the third scenario, we could have an example like y equals to, we need degree of denominator less, that means numerator is higher. So let's say 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2 divided by x squared minus 1. Now in this particular case we will observe that if x approaches positive infinity in that case y also approaches high positive infinity right L larger value and when x approaches negative infinity y approaches you can substitute negative value here Numerator will be negative, denominator is going to be positive, so we'll get negative infinity. So in this particular case, we do not have no horizontal asymptote. So these are the three scenarios which you'll observe most of the time when we're talking about end behavior with respect to equations. So I hope this part is absolutely clear. Now let me take examples to show you why it is so right let's see why it is so so let's take an example so for case one we have degree of denominator greater than degree of numerator so let me write one equation let's say we have x plus 2 in the numerator and we have x squared plus 2x plus 3 in the denominator now we want to figure out what happens when x is positive large value and what happens when x is negative large value. So what we can do here is that we can factor x out. So if I factor x, I get 1 plus 2 over x divided by, let me just factor in this case x squared, I get 1 plus 2 over x plus 3 over x squared, right? Now, as you can see here, if x approaches positive or negative infinity, in that case, 2 over x approaches 0, right? Even 3 over x square will also approach 0. So we could actually treat this as approaching to 0, right? Even that approaching to 0. So I could write this that 
when x approaches positive or negative infinity then y is approaching 1 over x since we are left with 1 here and these two values are approaching 0. Do you see that? So it is kind of a graph which you expect for 1 over x, right? So it's kind of a graph which you expect for 1 over x, I mean the end behavior. So it's kind of approaching like this. Do you see that? So we can clearly write that when x approaches infinity, positive or negative, y approaches 0, right? So in this case, we will see that the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0, correct? I would like you to get into details so that you can also figure out whether it is approaching from above or below, correct? Now here it was simple, so we have sketched it for you. So as a practice question, you could take another example that could be, so this is your question. You should write end behavior of y equals to, let's say, x squared plus 2x minus 3 divided by x cubed plus 1. Okay? So figure this out. Now let me take example for the second scenario where the degrees are same. So now we'll take up an example where the degree of numerator and denominator is same. So let's say y equals to, let's say x squared plus x minus 6 divided by 3x squared plus 12. Now in this case, I could again factor out x squared. So what I get here is 1 plus 1 over x minus 6 over x squared. And in this case, if I factor out 3x squared, I get 1 plus 3 divided by, I mean 12 divided by 3 is 4 over x squared, correct? Okay? Now this approaching when, now let me write down like this. So when x approaches positive or negative infinity, that means a very large value. In that case, the function approaches x square over 3x square or it approaches 1 over 3. Do you see that part? Correct? So here we have a horizontal asymptote which is y equals to 1 over 3 and the end behavior we could write kind of like this. When x approaches negative infinity y approaches 1 over 3 and when x approaches positive infinity y approaches 1 over 3 you get an idea so it is ratio of leading coefficients now i'll give you many more examples so that you can test it out but for the time being let this be your test question Let's say we have 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus x over, so let's take another cubic equation, 4x cubed plus 3x. So find the end behavior. You will figure out that in this case, the answer is again 5 over 4. Perfect. Okay. Now let's take the last example, which is the third type. When the degree of numerator is higher, this time degree of denominator is lower. So that is to say, we have an example like y equals to x cubed plus 2x minus 1 over x plus 1. Now in this case, if I factor out x cubed, I get 1 plus 2 over x squared minus 1 over x cubed. And the denominator, I could factor x, I get 1 plus 1 over x. Now as x approaches infinitely large value, positive or negative, 2 over x square approaches 0, 1 over x cube approaches 0, 1 over x also approaches 0. So I could write this as x cube over x, which is kind of similar to x square. So what we see here is that as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches infinity, and x, x approaches negative infinity, y also approaches positive infinity. Correct? So, so in this particular case, we do not have any horizontal asymptote, right? So we have no horizontal asymptote. 
we are not approaching a fixed value. You will learn that if a degree is one higher, we may get oblique asymptote, but that will be part of another video. But I hope you have understood from here that the end behavior of rational functions basically depends on the degree of numerator and denominator. Correct? So when we are considering equations, this is very important part to look into. For any equation, we have to only check degree of numerator and denominator. Once we know, we also know the equation of horizontal asymptote. This is the value where the function is approaching when x is extremely large. It could be positive or negative. Perfect. If the degree of denominator is less, that is degree of numerator is higher, then the function approaches positive or negative infinity. So with that, we'll conclude this video and take a few practice questions in the next part. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.